Reality has some exciting news. The BQBX backers are still waiting and a little short look on a Kickstarter campaign from Plybot, a 3D printer, but then a little bit different. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter. Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. Before I'm going into the video, just a little disclaimer, all the specs and the pictures I'm going to share in this video are from Reality, from BQ, BX, and from Plybot. Now that is out of the way, let's get into today's video. So Cryality is going to come with a brand new 3D printer and it is going to call Ender 7. I know, during the live stream from this week, I heard Creality saying something about a Ender 7 or a brand new 3D printer that they are going to release very early in 2021. Which kind of 3D printer it is going to be? I'm not sure, but they hinted to the direction of the Ender 6. And the Ender 6, as we all know, is a Core XY 3D printer. So I'm very pumped about this brand new 3D printer from Creality that they are going to release in 2021. When, how, what, we are not, we are not sure about that, but if I know, you will know it as well in the C3P news and updates here on this channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. Up to the next topic. So it was a, a few months ago that we had the BQ B BX as Kickstarter campaign. And if you are a backer of this Kickstarter campaign, uh, I think this sounds very familiar. There were two batches that BQ was going to ship in the end of 2020 and early beginning of 2021. In the updates of the BQ BX Kickstarter campaign, BQ already announced in an update that they had some delays because they wanted to make sure that the quality of these machines were the best as possible as they are going also to be shipped out to the normal shops and that everybody else can get the BQ BX as soon as possible. They are going to be shipped in two different kind of batches and that first batch was already shipped out in January of 2021, if I'm not mistaken. BQ announced 5th of February that they are going to release the second batch as soon as possible and that they are going to be shipped. So during this month and also beginning of March, every backer is going to receive their backed machine. There were in total 665 backed machines. So I hope that in, in middle of March, everybody will receive their BQ BX 3D printer in their home. Let's go to the next topic. So the Plybot, this little 3D printer is a bit different than we used to see. This is not a standard 3D printer. It's a SCARA type of 3D printer. This type of printing looks like a robot arm that can 3D print. But in this case of Plybot, it has two arms and the printer seems to hold the hot end very tight with both of the arms of this machine. Those two arms are working together to move the tool head or the hot end in this case around. Those two arms are moved up and down over the Z axis. 
the machine itself look very stylish, simple and yet highly addictive to watch when printing. This 3D printer is mostly made out of sheet metal plates, some plastic parts and electronics of course. Talking about the electronics of this machine, this machine has, as visible on the little GIF image, a 32-bit board from Big 3 Tech, the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2 with silent stepper drivers. Well, I don't see any springs or any bad springs. So this machine also, like mentioned on the Kickstarter campaign, has auto bed leveling system. This machine has a double geared extruder with a Bowden tube. And this 3D printer has a USB, an SD card and Wi-Fi as connections. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 178 times 152 times 127 millimeters. The nozzle temperature of this machine is 270 degrees Celsius and the heat bed is going up to 100 degrees Celsius. With these temperatures you can print PLA, PTEG, PETIT, ASA, PP, PBE uh, and many other filaments what you can imagine. This 3D printer is still on Kickstarter for at least 15 days. The price of this machine starts at 299 US dollars as an early bird price. This printer comes with three different kind of colors in black, white and red colors. Each spool has 250 grams of filament on it. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Well, to wrap up this video, we are in the second month of 2021. Maybe we are almost hitting the end of the second month, but Creality is coming with a brand new 3D printer. They are teasing us with a brand new 3D printer. And sometimes we need to wait a little bit longer to get a better machine instead of not working machines and also a very interesting machine on Kickstarter for just a few more days. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media, and hey, Let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D prints. Bye bye. As a matter of fact, this machine, um, backers from the Kickstarter already announced in the direction. Well, no. 5th of uh, February. Well, BQ, BX, all. BQ? The 5th of November, nee. <laughs> oh my gosh, nee. BQ announced 5th of November, uh, 5th of November, what is it? Of November. <laughs> that every backer would receive by the end of, <laughs> that every backer during March will have their backed machine in house. Okay, okay, nee. Check the link in the description of this video where to back this 3D printer or something like that.